Hi everyone. I hope all of you can hear me. So today we are going to discuss uh, one new program which is also consisting of TF DFS, right? So let's just start, or should we wait for one or two minutes? Okay, let me start right away. Probably uh, there will be people who will be joining, but that's okay. So this problem is saying that consider a graph G, which is an undirected graph, and we want to run our DFS traversal on this G and let T be a resulting DFS tree of this graph, right? And then what they are saying, let this U, so uh, so there is a vertex uh, uh, like uh, that is U and then, then they are saying let this U be uh, U, U and V, like U be a vertex and let B be a, f a first new or unvisited vertex just after this U, then which of the following option is true? So what they are saying that if you run a DFS, then uh, let's suppose this is a root node. Then from this root node, you will be uh, running a DFS and then you will be getting U. And then what they are saying is that like V is the first vertex just after this U. So what does this mean? Which means like, should we having V here or should we having V somewhere else? Can we have V somewhere else? That's all about this question. So this is what they're asking. So just try to answer this question and just spend one minute and then just let me know which option you think is correct. Which of the option is always true. Just remember always true. So V is the first node that is you that you are visiting just after this U. And then they are asking which of the which of the option is always true. Right. Okay. Just spend one minute and then let me know which one is the correct answer. So what do you think? Am I audible? Please confirm me quickly. Am I audible? I hope I am I'm audible, right? Okay. So, uh, so just to answer this question, uh, let's just, uh, let's just have some analysis. Suppose that there is a vertex, which is root vertex here. I have the root vertex here and, uh, I I'm visiting, uh, somehow I'm visiting this U. There is a vertex U I'm visiting. Now tell me, uh, like the V that I'm visiting, should that be just after this U? Which means should V be just after this U? Should V be here? I mean, is it necessary to have this V here? Because V is the first node that I'm visiting just after this U. Should I be having U V as an edge? Is this necessary? I'm I'm not saying this is wrong. This is just one possibility. But I, I, I want to ask that, uh, is this the only possibility that you have? Right. So this is just one possibility, but I want to ask that is this the only possibility? So let me just uh, write here. This is the this is one possibility. This is one possibility. But here I want to ask that is this the only possibility that you have? Let's just uh, let's just see if there is there are other possibilities that we can have. So uh, let's say that root is here. Root is here and you are visiting this U. But after this U, you are visiting this V, that is okay. But does this necessary that uh, that this U V is an edge? Maybe, maybe something like this could happen. Maybe you can have this root here. And then let's suppose you are visiting, this is the root. You are visiting U. And then maybe you may backtrack and then you may be visiting this V here, right? It is, it is also a possibility that uh, maybe let me consider more nodes if you, if if that makes some uh, sense to you let's suppose u is here then maybe maybe you can just backtrack because there is nothing more to explore and then you can say that v is here isn't it another possibility tell me i hope that is fine to everyone so that is also another possibility so which means let me just write it here that this is another possibility Now, uh, what they are saying that uh, that uh, in the options, they are saying that UV must be an edge. This is one possibility. Uh, they are saying must be an edge. Uh, I don't think this is the case, right? Must be an edge is not the uh, not the case because this uh, another possibility is actually making the A and B false. So this possibility is making A and B false, right? So that's why it is not necessary that UV is always an edge. Okay. Okay. So if UV is uh, like if UV is not need, need not to be an edge, then then what can I say else? 
then maybe maybe this you and we are sharing which sharing one parent maybe maybe this is one one possibility right so uh, but my question is that is this always true that either you be an age or they are sharing a parent can you have a uh, one more possibility this is my question can you have one more possibility just let me know see what i can do maybe i can have something like this maybe i can have one root right i can have one root and then maybe i can have something like this this is you that i completely agree but they need not to share one parent also maybe you backtrack there is nothing here let's suppose and there is here this this v is here maybe right so this is the third possibility third possibility and no one no one denies this possibility which means either either this can happen see only in in the question they have only given that uh, that this v and you are having one relationship which means you are visiting this v just after the u so if you are visiting this v just after the u then this is one possibility where u v and h this is another possibility that you backtrack and just after one track you one backtrack you are you are visiting this v maybe after two backtrack maybe after three backtrack like that right so maybe it is another possibility or maybe maybe you can have many many such possibilities uh, maybe you can have something like this let me write here so uh, maybe after two backtracks so it is just maybe after one or two backtrack and maybe after three backtrack also you can have maybe you can say this is another possibility if you just the, for the sake of drawing the possibility then you can draw this is also one possibility where you will say that see you will say that v is not even here v could be here also right so you will say that v could be here also which means that v is here so the, there are many possibilities i mean this is not necessary that uh, that you will be sharing uh, sharing a uh, edge with you and we, you, you and we will be basically having one edge maybe maybe they are sharing a parent maybe they are not even sharing a parent maybe after two backtrack so this is after one one backtrack you are finding this v maybe after two backtrack you are finding this v maybe after three backtracks right maybe maybe anything could happen i mean see this is the just of, just the immediate vertex that you are you, you, you are having after this u this v is a immediate vertex that you are having after this uh, this u now tell me is this a possibility can you have something like this can you have this is root tell me this is let's suppose you are visiting this visiting this visiting this and then then let's suppose this is u then you backtrack backtrack and then suppose you visit this okay and then let's suppose this is w and then this is v is this a valid possibility this is my question is this a valid possibility tell me is this a valid possibility do you or can you have a valid possibility something like this where you will be saying that v is next unvisited just after this u is v just after this u is v just after this u unvisited in in case of unvisited are you visiting this v just after this u no right you are visiting w just after this u so this is not a valid possibility not a valid possibility valid possibility i hope you know the reason that why it is not a valid possibility because w is the uh, node that that you are visiting just after this u see what they are saying that v be the first new unvisited node that you are visiting just after this u so yes in this case in this case you are visiting uh, v just after this u in this case you are visiting v just after this u in this case you are visiting v just after this u in this case you are visiting v just after this u but but in this case you are not visiting v you are not visiting v just after the u you are visiting w so let me just write here so you are let me write here you are visiting visiting w just after after u not v so that is why it is not a valid possibility i hope you understood that what do i mean by valid possibilities okay okay ankit is saying you you teach is very good sir uh, i wish your subject wise course could would be uh, some cheap that could apt for ankit that is already cheap right i mean uh, i don't think that uh, you can get that much uh, i mean we are already providing at uh, very good very good quality that to very affordable quality uh, affor in very affordable price anyway let me just continue with the question so i hope everyone understood this
now uh, let me ask you is this a valid possibility let me say that you are you are visiting something okay maybe maybe you are visiting something something and then maybe you reach here you reach here after the backtrack and then let's suppose uh, from here you are visiting this u okay so this is root you visited all of this let's suppose you visited all of this right and then then you are visiting uh, then you maybe you backtrack and something something happened and then then from this node you are you are visiting new 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 and then this is you right okay and then uh, maybe uh, maybe let me ask you whether this is a valid possibility or not maybe you say that uh, that you backtrack backtrack and then probably you go here uh, you go here again or or maybe yeah maybe let let me say that you go here again and then you are visiting then then you say that uh, you visit okay uh, then you are visiting something then just at this mo oh, okay let me just backtrack till this point let, let's suppose you backtrack backtrack and then then let me just ask you is this a valid possibility that you you visit all of this and then somehow you reach at this point and then maybe maybe you are backtracking and then then you found out okay at the backtrack there is something more to explore so you you explore these few nodes here okay you explore these few nodes here then you find okay there is nothing else then you backtrack backtrack then you backtrack and then you you found okay there, there is something else then this is v is this a valid possibility is valid possibility means is v the first node is v the first node that you are visiting just after you okay is v the first node first node that you are visiting just after you tell me is this the case yes that is the case because everything is visited you backtrack backtrack there was nothing new here you backtrack backtrack and then at this moment you found out something new and the first node that you have that you found out is v right so these all are the valid possibilities but something like this is not the valid possibility now let's just see that uh, that the, what they are asking they are saying uv must be an edge i don't think that is the case right so can you can you answer this question now i don't think that is the case uv must be an edge if uv is not an edge then u must be a leaf okay that's very interesting uh, if uv is not an edge then u must be a leaf yes uh, that has to be true because if uv is not an edge it means you have to backtrack at u right uh, okay so if uv is not an edge then u is a leaf in t and what this option is saying if uv is not an edge in g then uv must have the same parent no must have the same parent is not necessary because i have seen it uh, maybe maybe something like this right i mean they they do not even uh, share the parent so they share the parent here so d option is saying that this is always the case but uh, no that's not always the case right that's not always the case and this is saying that uh, they are not sharing the parent but u is a leaf so that is true right so c option is true reason being is that they are saying that if uv is not an edge it means it means that you are backtracking at u right you have to backtrack at u if uv is not an edge so you you have to backtrack at u it means that u is a leaf node u is a leaf node and that's why this c option is true this this is very nice question i hope you understood right if there is any doubt please let me know okay so uh, let's move further and today uh, so here uh, here is the solution like i i have just written down the solution earlier before the class so there are three cases case 1 case 2 and case 3 we have also solved this in the complete course but uh, that is okay like uh, this is for the practice and the revision so we also solved it in the complete course but here we will be solving with maybe more analysis right so that uh, so that you get to uh, you get more practice of these kind of questions okay so let's solve this question this question has been asked in gate 2021 and that's very very nice question that's very interesting question very nice question uh, let's just let's just uh, have let's just see if, uh, if if you can solve this okay someone uh, abra abra jyoti is asking or uh, saying that they must share the ancestor they must share the ancestor i mean everyone has the same ancestor right right i mean the root is the ancestor that they have 
yeah uh, yeah you are right i mean uh, in in that sense like they they should be sharing the ancestor reason being is that uh, you are coming down here to you and then the moment you backtrack 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 uh, you might reach till the root at the end and let's suppose you are not reaching to to the root you are, you are stuck in here and then the moment you are visiting v then then they are sharing this ancestor and if you are going till till the root then they are sharing this root as an ancestor so yes they are sharing the ancestor that is that is sure i think that is right right so they they must share the ancestor i think yes if we is the we is the next node because you you backtrack backtrack if you are going to the root then they are sharing the root as an ancestor i mean it's it's not the case it's not the case that they they are not even sharing the ancestor which means um, which means that there is no no relation uh, okay uh, what should i say basically here i mean a root is the ancestor for everyone uh, in case of indirected graph that is for sure so anyway like uh, that that will depend on the how you are framing the sentence so that will basically depend on how you are framing the sen uh, sentence but anyway like you understood the concept right so let's move to the next question which is which is gate to the 21 question this is very nice question and let's just try to answer this question if you understood this question then then you you will be understanding one very important point which is the application of dfs which is basically the articulation point this whole question is just revolving around only one concept which is articulation point using the dfs and uh, you will not find the explanation of this question anywhere i mean anywhere in the sense that uh, in the usual places uh, like if you understand this question here then then it will be easy to do this question otherwise it will be hard okay so we have already done this question in the in the complete course but anyway let me just make you recall so what is the cut point or articulation point i hope everyone knows this that if uh, if a point that disconnect a graph which means 2 uh, and 6 are cut point or articulation point right okay now if you want to find out all the cut points then there is a brute force approach that you can remove you can uh, you can maybe uh, remove this and then you can check whether it is connected or not then in that case you need to run your dfs or bfs maybe v times multiple times then it will be too much of time complexity but there is a better way which is using the dfs in in brute force we can do it but it is not a better way right so as we have seen in the complete course also like uh, this uh, this all analysis we have done it but let me just quickly recall it so how to find the all articulation point using the dfs there is very nice uh, property of dfs that we are looking at and then once we understand that property then we can easily solve the question that is given here right so this is the question that uh, that is given here and then we will be just coming back to this question in just a 5 minutes okay let me just make you recall the property that i want to address okay so there is a graph that is given to you and then what you can do you can make a D, make a dfs tree out of this graph maybe you can you can make a dfs tree at 2 maybe you can make a dfs tree at 1 i am not saying that you have to make a dfs tree at at a particular node you can do you can make a dfs tree at any node maybe at 2 maybe at uh, maybe at 3 maybe at 1 that's okay right suppose i choose to make a dfs tree at 2 then it will look something like this then there are basically if if i if i if i choose to make a dfs tree at 1 then it will look something like this that's perfectly fine i mean uh, i can make it at 2 make it at 1 3 i hope that is fine to everyone okay so there are now three cases i will i will be just quickly recalling the three cases case 1 and that's what they are asking in the question also like they are asking root can can the root be articulation point can the leaf be articulation point or can the internal node be articulation point okay so root of the tree and the leaf of the tree or or the internal node of the tree so that's what they are asking in the question and that's what we will be doing also so there are three cases let's just uh, let's just address those three cases case 1 uh, is can root be articulation point be articulation point or the cut point okay this is the case 1 root means root of tree see in the graph obviously there is no notion of uh, of the root i hope everyone is, uh, is getting right in the graph there is no notion of root so root uh, can the root be articulation point this here root means root of tree i am talking about root of tree now let's have a case 2 case 2 where i will say leaf of tree leaf of tree can be articulation point be articulation point this is the second case and case 3 in the case 3 i will be asking whether uh, whether internal node of the tree can be can be articulation point so let's just first move to the case 1 tell me can root be articulation point see this is per, first of all this is undirected graph now in the undirected graph you know there is no cross edge right i mean you cannot have any edge something like this so there is no edge something like this in the graph which means see currently it is a dfs tree but if i ask you 
to make a graph i mean if i just ask you okay can you guess the graph out of this okay so what you will say if if i just ask you the given this tree can you guess the graph then then you will say that there might be some edges here and there but there cannot be any edge something like this there cannot be edge something like this this is for sure right everyone understood this that there cannot be edge something like this there might be edges here and there uh, which means there might be edges something something like this like this but there cannot be a cross edge i mean if i ask you to make uh, or the guess if i ask you to guess the graph given this given this tree then you will say that you cannot make some some edges like this that is for sure so if that kind of edges are not possible then doesn't it mean that all of all of this all of this basically are connected by itself i mean no one no one from here is connected to to this this point isn't it so can i say that root is always an articulation point then answer is yes right root is always an articulation point so i will say that root of a, of the dft dft means death for such tree root root of the death for such tree is always an articulation point okay so this is very important point that uh, yeah uh, i agree like there will be cases and in which in which root will not be articulation point where root is just having one one child okay if root is just having one child then only it is not articulation point but if root is having multiple child then it is definitely articulation articulation point so i will do what i will uh, i will run a dfs on this maybe maybe starting at one maybe starting at two i do not know what is what is articulation point at this point in time i do not know let's suppose you start at one you will get this this tree then you will go to root and then you will ask a simple question is this having multiple child or multiple children then answer is no then you will say it is not articulation point but if this is a root which is having multiple children then it is always an articulation point so there is very nice conclusion that i can draw Uh, that i will say root is an articulation point if and only if there are at least two children of the root okay this is what theorem says i hope everyone understood this now uh, suppose i choose to make a dft on 5 if i make a dft on 5 is 5 a articulation point obviously no reason being is that uh, it is just having only one child then root is not articulation point in this case because it is just having one child if it is just having one one child it is not articulation point if it is having multiple multiple child or more than two children then it is have it is an articulation point so checking whether root is an articulation point or, or, or not that's uh, that's very easy right okay you can do it now let's go to the case 2 where i will be asking can the non root of the dft be articulation point which means that can the internal node okay so uh, let's say that uh, this is the dft that i get and let me ask you can the 4 be articulation point can the 5 be articulation point let's just ask these kind of questions can one be articulation point which means apart from root let me ask uh, the question to uh, some other other nodes can can these nodes be articulation point i hope everyone understood uh, what i mean to ask right okay tell me uh, tell me is is four articulation point is four articulation point no see from the graph at least you can tell me right i mean from the tree i will i will come to the conclusion that how to tell but from the graph at least you can tell me that uh, that four is not articulation point now from the tree can you tell me is four articulation point or not the answer is yes how to tell i will just say four is an articulation point if and only if if and only if its children are not connected to four children or four descendant you will say four descendant are not connected to four's ancestor isn't it i will say see i do not have to worry about whether this five is connected to one or not that's very fortunate i am very fortunate that i do not have to worry about this because there is no cross edge right there is no cross edge that's why i do not have to worry about whether this five is connected to one or not because five can never be connected to one that that is i am 100% sure everyone agree with me on this point okay so i do only have to worry about so i will say four is an articulation point is an articulation point if and only if four's uh, descendant are not connected to not connected to four's ancestor isn't it that's all i need to argue so just check whether is descendant oh yes is descendant which is 5 is connected to its ancestor which is 2 oh that is why 4 is not articulation point right so now you got to know whether uh, whether 4 is articulation point or not that's very easy to check 
tell me is five articulation point or not do you have five descendant which is connected to five uh, five uh, ancestor i think yes right i have six which is connected to which is a descendant of five and which is connected to five ancestor which is four so that's why five is also not articulation point what about six is six articulation point i think yes reason being is that none of its descendant which means seven and eight are not connected to its ancestor yes they are connected to six itself that's okay you are getting my point right see six descendant which is seven and eight are not connected to six ancestor which is maybe two four and five neither seven is connected to two four five neither eight is connected to two four five that's why i will say that six is an articulation point see i will argue six is an articulation point if and only if six descendant and uh, what are the six descendant seven and eight right seven and eight are not connected to six ancestor and what are the six ancestor tell me what are the six ancestors six ancestors are uh, i think 245 right since 7 and 8 none of this is connected to 245 that's why i will declare that six is an articulation point now tell me do i have to worry about whether this this seven is connected to 3 or not do i have to worry about this kind of connectivity ankit what do you say okay ankit rahul anyone uh, would like to answer answer me this do i have to worry about whether 7 is connected to 3 or not whether 8 is connected to 3 1 or, or something like this i i don't think i have to i have to worry about this reason being is that reason being is that there is no cross hatch here right since there is no cross hatch that's why i do not need to worry about this so what i will say an internal node let's just have any general general structure i will say an internal node internal node is an articulation point if and only if none of okay uh, yeah let me write here like this none of its descendant is connected to connected to uh, none of its ancestor something like this right okay have you understood this so i will say something is in some internal node could be articulation point not a big deal uh, right I, i hope that is visible to everyone some internal node could be uh, could be uh, articulation point not a big deal but uh, what i i i i will just check whether let's suppose i want to check for this i will check whether this descendant could be multiple descendant right not just one descendant could be multiple descendant whether is descendant are connected to its ancestor or not if if it if that's that's at all the case okay let's suppose uh, let's suppose that its descendant uh, let me first make just one descendant for for the sake of simpler example and then i will go to the multiple descendant okay let's let's suppose that it is connected it is connected to its ancestor then the moment it is connected to its ancestor the moment i will say that this is not an articulation point everyone understood this or not tell me this is very important point once you understand this then your gate 2021 question will be direct direct straight forward from this this theorem okay i hope everyone understood theek hai so now uh, now let's let's just okay don't worry if you are not getting because i will just uh, break down the analysis in uh, in the more detail and we will have the thorough analysis for this just be with me and maybe you will be just understanding in couple of minutes okay now uh, let's consider this case here uh this is very interesting case and this case will uh, will just break down uh, the analysis in more uh, more concrete way let's just see that what what i mean to say suppose suppose i want to check whether this is articulation point or not okay articulation point or not what i will do i will just check i will just check whether i want to check whether this is articulation point or not suppose 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 is descendant that this is this is descendant is connected to its ancestor now tell me is this articulation point is descendant is connected to the ancestor is this articulation point just uh, just see this carefully suppose this is the graph and uh, okay maybe let me make it more clear uh, suppose that suppose that uh, this is the graph i have and let's suppose that the tree that i have is this i mean i hope you are clear with the terminology 
so this is the tree i have okay which means in the tree i obviously do not have anything other than the tree edges so this is the graph this is the graph and this is the tree i have now i want to check whether this is articulation point or not i will check whether this is having a back edge which means any of this descendant is connected to its ancestor so since since it is connected to ancestor is this articulation point the answer is yes reason being is that just just imagine that if you remove this if you remove this won't won't some of the portion will be disconnected won't this and this portion will be disconnected tell me if you remove this then won't this portion will be disconnected then this is an articulation point right so i'm trying to make this more clear actually the statement that we have written earlier was not 100% correct so basically basically to check an articulation point what i will do i will check all of its descendant i mean all of the subtree suppose that it is having multiple subtrees which means let's suppose let's suppose this is having multiple subtrees okay maybe subtree 1 maybe subtree 2 maybe subtree 3 something like this okay let me write it here maybe subtree 1 maybe subtree 2 maybe subtree 3 so what i will do i want to check if i want to check whether this is articulation point or not then what i will do i will do that uh, that i will check whether this subtree i will check this for every subtree this subtree in this subtree do i have descendant that is connected to its ancestor if yes then okay let's move to this subtree do i have descendant that is connected to its ancestor yes then let's move to this this subtree do i have descendant here that is connected to its ancestor suppose no okay if if i just find one subtree where i do not have any descendant that is connected to its ancestor then it is an articulation point okay so now in this case it is an articulation point see it is an articulation point it is bit tricky to understand so that's why uh, we are having this series all the question in this series will be bit tricky so that's why you just have to be bit patience okay you have to have a uh, little bit of patience then only you can understand so uh, i am saying it is an articulation point let me just call it v so i will say that v is an articulation point can anyone tell me reason because because there exist one subtree one subtree that does not have back edge does not have back edge is this visible to everyone uh, i'm not sure i'm writing on the corner so i hope that is visible right so uh, there exists one subtree that does not have a back edge so now what will happen suppose suppose you remove this v okay suppose you remove this v tell me is the graph disconnected after removing this v so your graph will look like this tell me is this graph disconnected if you remove this v see this subtree 3 is completely disconnected right for for the subtree 3 3 kebal v hi ek sahara tha and then you are taking that sahara away which means you are taking their support away so subtree 3 will be disconnected but yeah i agree i agree that this particular portion will be connected only this particular portion whole portion is connected but subtree 3 3 jo hai wo to disconnect ho gaya na so basically earlier i had this now if you remove this v if you remove this v then you are going to get this kind of situation which means this v is an articulation point now can you tell me the exact and fine line that how to tell something is articulation point or not i will check the subtrees of this i will check whether there exists a subtree that has a back edge or not if yes there is a subtree that has a back edge then i will say it is an, it is an it is uh, sorry there is a subtree that does not have a back edge then i will say it is an articulation point okay so to check any internal node node is articulation point or not then what i will do i will check check if there is a subtree i mean i hope you got the terminology there is a subtree that has that has back edge that uh, does not have back edge basically right that does not have back edge
if that is the case then i will say then i will say that uh, to check any any internal rule let's suppose v then i will i will say that v is an articulation so that's how i am i'm going to check whether some internal node is articulation point of internal node is very very tricky i hope you understood this see that's where in gate 2021 they have actually uh, framed the question on this particular concept only that for the internal node you have to check all the subtrees if there are just just one subtree you are just looking for only one subtree if there are just just one subtree that does not have a back edge okay so which means that you are having some tree you are having some tree and there could be there could be multiple subtrees here uh, for this particular node you just need to have one subtree maybe let's suppose this is having a back edge this is i mean uh, this is having a back edge to its ancestor this is having a back edge to some ancestor there at least one subtree that does not have a back edge then if you remove this then that subtree will at least get uh, get disconnected right i do not care about anything else but that subtree at least will get disconnected see uh this is an articulation point because there is a subtree that does not have a back edge theek hai ye samajh mein aaya ye bahut zyada important hai this is very very nice point very very important point also okay so now how to check you will be checking for a subtree whether it is having a uh, having a back edge or not you can can't just say you can't just say looking at just one subtree agar iska back edge hai ek subtree ka doesn't mean ki ye ye articulation point nahi hai मे बी आर्टिकुलेशन बॉन्ड मुझे सारे सारे सब्ट्री चेक करने पड़ेंगे एक भी मिल गया है ना कि जिसका पैकेज नहीं है तो मैं बोलूंगा कि ये ये आर्टिकुलेशन पॉइंट है अगर अगर सारे सारे सब ट्रीज का मतलब अगर मुझे एक ऐसा मिल गया जिसका पैकेज है इट डजेंट मीन कि आर्टिकुलेशन पॉइंट है नहीं आई 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 कैन नॉट इवन टेल लुकिंग एट लुकिंग एट वन सब ट्री आई कैन नॉट इवन टेल ओके अगर इस सब ट्री का पैकेज है आई कैन नॉट से आर्टिकुलेशन पॉइंट है कि नहीं है दैस वेर दे आस्क इन गेट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन ओके i i hope that is fine to everyone is this okay to everyone theek hai theek hai if this is understood then let's let's move to um the question directly okay so maybe let's just let, let's just also argue about the third case where i will be just checking whether the leaf node is can be articulation point or not you pick any uh, you pick uh, you pick any node as a as a root node and then uh, you just you know draw the uh, draw the dfs tree and then these leaf nodes can never be the articulation point reason being is that reason being is that if you remove this leaf node like uh, let's suppose if i if i tell you that this is your your dfs graph i mean in the graph you will you might be having multiple more edges which are represented by these dots so this is the graph right okay i am not sure if you are getting it or not let me just uh, maybe draw this see what i mean to say this is the graph that i have okay this is the graph that i have and the corresponding tree will be will not be having these dotted edge dotted edge are only in the graph not in the tree right so this is the tree that i have this is the graph that i have on the left side i hope you are getting the point on the left side i have the graph it is it is undirected graph first of all so no don't worry about these directions theek okay? hai so uh, yeah so let me say this is a graph that i have and then if you make a tree out of it then it will be a tree now if i just ask you to do a reversing which means given a tree can you guess can you guess about the graph what could be the graph जो भी ग्राफ होगा है ना फर्क नहीं पड़ता मतलब पहली बात तो क्रॉस एज नहीं होंगी कुछ आपस में ऐसा कुछ होगा राइट जो भी ग्राफ होगा फर्क नहीं पड़ता अगर उस ग्राफ में से लेट सपोज ये हमारे पास ग्राफ है इफ आई जस्ट रिमूव दिस एट विल दिस डिस्कनेक्ट एनीथिंग नो राइट सो इट कैन नॉट डिस्कनेक्ट एनी सो दैट इज वाई दिस दिस लीफ नोट कैन नेवर बी आर्टिकुलेशन पॉइंट इट मीन्स कि जो उल्टा भी सोच सकते हैं कि अगर आर्टिकुलेशन पॉइंट था लेट सपोज कि सिक्स वॉज द आर्टिकुलेशन पॉइंट देन Six can never be on the leaf. Okay, you take any any of the vertex as a root. Uh, maybe अभी तो मैंने two पे draw किया है. You take uh, maybe maybe you take one as a as a root. You take three as a root. You take four as a root. You take five as a root. You take seven as a root. You take eight as a root. I guarantee it that six can never be a leaf. Reason simple है. If you take seven as a root, तो मतलब six पे आते. Since it is an articulation point, it is basically connecting these two stories, right? 
हाउ कैन इट विल यूर लीव लीव का मतलब है कि यहाँ से कुछ फिर उसके बाद अनविजिटेड मतलब कुछ विजिट करने को नहीं है है ना बैक ट्रैक करना पड़ेगा बट यहाँ से मुझे कभी बैक ट्रैक नहीं करना पड़ेगा आर्टिकुलेशन पॉइंट से सिक्स कैन नेवर बी लीव आई मीन आई होप यू आर गेटिंग वट आई मीन टू से सो बेसिकली यू पिक एनी वन ऑफ दीज एज अ रूट नोट सिक्स कैन नेवर बी लीव यू कैन थिंक इन अ रिवर्स वे ऑल्सो ठीक है एनी वे लेट्स जस्ट मूव टू द फॉरवर्ड वे विच मीन्स दैट यू मेक द डी एफ डी एफ टी एंड देन द फाइनली वॉट एवर द लीव नोट दैट यू आर हैविंग दीज लीव नोट कैन नेवर बी अ आर्टिकुलेशन पॉइंट ओके सो लेट जस्ट लेट जस्ट आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन लेट जस्ट हैव दिस क्वेश्चन इन प्लेस सो वॉट दे वॉन्ट टू से दे आर सेंग द रन अ डी एफ एस मेक अ डी एफ टी पिक लीव नोट लेट सपोज लीव नोट इज बी एंड देन रन डी एफ एस अगेन बट दिस टाइम यूजिंग बी एज अ रूट okay so this is very nice question just try to solve this question now they are saying you run a dfs you make a dft dft means that for such tree and then you pick a leaf node say say that is v now you run a dfs again on the on the graph and this time using v as a root which means jo pichli bar jo leaf aaya tha na usko abhi main as a root maan ke chal raha hu matlab see uh, let's suppose ki main abhi 8 pe dfs run kar mujhe run karna hai 8 pe dfs run karna hai Now what they are asking, what they are asking is that how many children will be there in the second run of the DFS on V as a root? अगर V root होगा तो उसके कितने children होंगे? Can anyone answer this question? See earlier V was the leaf, earlier V was the leaf. What does this say? V cannot be articulation point. Now You are re-running as v as a root. Since it cannot be articulation point, तो इसका मतलब ये है कि इसका एक ही children हो सकता है ना मतलब अगर इसके दो children हो गए तो root तो articulation point हो जाता है फिर ठीक है तो इसके एक ही children हो सकता है दस दस वर्ड देर आस्किंग सो आंसर इज वन आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड द क्वेश्चन वेरी नाइस क्वेश्चन राइट ओके ना लेट जस्ट मूव टू ओके इन द इम्प्लीमेंट सी आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू शो यू द कोड एंड ऑल बट इफ यू गो फॉर द कम्पटेटिव कोडिंग देन यू विल सी देर इज सम टर्मनोलॉजी कॉल लो एंड एंड दीज दीज ऑल टर्मनोलॉजी बेसिकली बॉयल डाउंस टू द थ्योरी ओनली ओके सो लो एंड लो एंड देर इज सम टर्मनोलॉजी कॉल्ड मे बी यू कैन मेक सम एरे एंड दीज थिंग्स यू जस्ट मेक सम एरे देट समाइम दे से लो लो द एरे नेम इज लो एंड ऑल ऑल दे आर डूइंग इज बेसिकली जस्ट चेकिंग वेदर दिस फोर इज कनेक्टेड टू टू और नॉट I mean the descendant is connected to ancestor node for the for the internal nodes and that's what they do using some uh, data structure called lo. Okay, I mean data structure is array but name is conventionally they give the name as lo. Anyway, the implementation is not important for us in the complete course also. Like I have not told the implementation because that's not important. But I just give the hint that if in the future, if you want to see, then you can connect back to the theory. This theory is not just for the theoretical purpose. This actually gets implemented. Okay, using uh, using some good implement uh, implementation techniques. Okay, so that's what they are asking. 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 Okay, so that's what they are
सो वॉट दे आर सेंग इफ यू इज एन आर्टिकुलेशन पॉइंट इन जी सच दैट सच दैट एक्स इज एन एनसेस्टर ऑफ यू ठीक है एक्स जो है एनसेस्टर है एंड वाई इज अ डिसेंडेंट वाई जो है डिसेंडेंट है ओके ऑफ यू इन टी सो दैट इज गिवन टू अस मतलब ये तो गिवन है इसमें कुछ आर्ग्यू नहीं करना है दैट इज गिवन ओके नाउ आफ्टर दिस दिस कॉमन जो भी दैन लिखा हुआ है वो हमें देखना है बट टिल नाउ इट इज गिवन टू अस कि एक्स एनसेस्टर है वाई डिसेंडेंट है ये आर्टिकुलेशन पॉइंट है दीज थ्री थिंग्स आर गिवन टू अस ठीक है नाउ वॉट दिस थिंग इफ दैट इज द केस देन ऑल पाथ फ्रॉम एक्स टू वाई एक्स टू वाई मस्ट पास थ्रू यू ये अगर आर्टिकुलेशन पॉइंट है तो हाँ दैट्स वेरी नाइस राइट नाउ वॉट दे आर सेंग कि आप डायरेक्ट कनेक्ट नहीं कर सकते हो अगर एक्स से बाई में मुझे कोई पाथ से जाना है है ना एक्स टू बाई मतलब मैं ऐसे नहीं कर सकता कि मैं डायरेक्टली uh, बिना यू को बाईपास नहीं कर सकता दैस वॉट दे आर दे आर आस्किंग इज दिस इज दिस ओके मतलब क्या मैं यू को बाईपास कर सकता हूँ अगर मुझे जाना अगर यू आर्टिकुलेशन पॉइंट है तो ये बोल रहे हैं कि यू के थ्रू ही जाना पड़ेगा मैं ऐसे मैं बाई को इसके एनसेस्टर से कनेक्ट नहीं कर सकता Tell me, कर सकता हूं क्या कैन आई कैन आई डू इट स्टिल यूज एन आर्टिकुलेशन पॉइंट कैन आई हैव समथिंग लाइक दिस स्टिल यूज एन आर्टिकुलेशन पॉइंट आई थिंक आई कैन डू इट हाउ मे बी आई कैन हैव वन मोर सेप्ट्री आई डू नॉट नो आई मीन दे हैव नॉट टॉक्ट अबाउट एनी थिंग राइट मे बी आई हैव वन मोर सेप्ट्री जिसका कोई बैकेज नहीं है मतलब इसका बैकेज है दैट इज ओके लाइक आई कैन हैव अ बैकेज फ्रॉम वाई टू बाई टू समथिंग लाइक दिस आई कैन हैव अ सेप्ट्री जिसका पैकेज नहीं है है ना तो लेट सपोज लेट्स कंसिडर दिस केस Is you articulation point? Tell me, is you articulation point? Answer is yes. You is an articulation point. Reason being is that if you remove this you, definitely this subtree is getting disconnected, right? I mean, this whole whole thing is connected. That is okay. Let's suppose this whole thing is connected. Uh, this is connected by a back edge. That is okay. But if you remove this you, then at least this subtree is getting disconnected. So you is an articulation point. That is for sure. So ये बोल रहे हैं कि बाई को मतलब कैन बाई का कोई बैकेज नहीं हो सकता हो सकता है ना मतलब कोई दूसरा सब ट्री आर्टिकुलेशन पॉइंट बना रहा हो उसे सी टू बी आर्टिकुलेशन पॉइंट देर देर मस्ट एग्जिस्ट एट लीस्ट वन सब ट्री एट लीस्ट वन सब ट्री ठीक है जो उसको जिसका पैकेज नहीं है दैट डजेंट है पैकेज दे आर से बाई का ही पैकेज नहीं है क्यों हो सकता है ना बाई का पैकेज सो दैट इज बाई आई विल से दैट दिस यू कुड भी आर्टिकुलेशन पॉइंट बाई कुड भी हैविंग अ पैकेज एवरी थिंग इज फाइन आई मीन बाई कुड भी हैविंग अ पैकेज यू कुड भी आर्टिकुलेशन पॉइंट बट देर इज सम अदर सब ट्री राइट दैट इज मेकिंग इट आर्टिकुलेशन पॉइंट दैट इज द होल पॉइंट ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन दैट इज वेरी वेरी नाइस क्वेश्चन राइट सो अंकित इज सेंग कि दे हैव नॉट सेट लाइक देर इज एनी सब ट्री यस दे हैव दे नाइदर दे हैव सेट देर कुड बी सब ट्री और नॉट दे हैव नॉट सेट देर देर इज नो सब ट्री देर नॉट नॉट गिवन लाइक दैट देर देर कैन कैन नॉट बी मल्टीपल सब ट्रीज लाइक दिस राइट दे आर जस्ट सिंग यूज एन आर्टिकुलेशन पॉइंट देन एक्स इज एनसेस्टर एक्स इज सम रैंडम एनसेस्टर वाई सम रैंडम डिसेंडेंट तो बाई का पैकेज नहीं हो सकता हो सकता है ना वॉट इफ देर इज सम अदर सब ट्री यू कैन हैव अ काउंटर एग्जाम्पल राइट दिस इज अ काउंटर एग्जाम्पल दैट इज सेटिस्फाइंग ऑल ऑफ दिस इफ ऑल ऑफ दिस इफ मतलब लेट सपोज दिस इफ को मैं अगर पी में बोलूं है ना इफ पी देन के बाद मैं क्यू बोलूं तो मेरे पास एक काउंटर एग्जांपल है जो कि पूरा की पूरा इफ कंडीशन को सेटिस्फाई कर रहा है बट क्यू को सेटिस्फाई नहीं कर रहा ना बैकेज भी है मेरे पास आई 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 स्टिल हैव द बैकेज सो आई एम सेटिस्फाइंग द सेटिस्फाइंग द इम्प्लीकेशन पार्ट लाइक लेफ्ट लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ऑफ द पार्ट ऑफ द इम्प्लीकेशन बट स्टिल द राइट हैंड इज फॉल्स फॉर मी बैकेज है मेरे पास सो दैट इज वाई आई विल सी दिस इज द काउंटर एग्जाम्पल राइट दैस वाई दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी नाइस क्वेश्चन so uh, like if there is any doubt you can definitely comment it out okay in the comment box i will i will answer it personally so if you if you ask us anything then only me and deepak answer if there is a technical doubt for all also the non technical things me and deepak only answers right okay so thank you everyone uh, now in the next class we will be uh, just doing some more questions maybe from bfs this time or if there is some other question that you want me to solve you can just comment it out okay just comment it by tomorrow only so dfs bfs question you can comment dfs bfs question you just comment the gate overflow link and then i will be taking that that in the class if that is relevant question which i think that should be should be taken in the class okay thank you everyone thank you so much uh, take care bye bye